Next, we're going to uh, make the paragraphs a little bit more legible. Give it some padding bottoms. So padding bottom 30 pixels. If you go back, there you go. There's some paddings towards the bottom. And um, remember how we created the banner div right here in between the top nav and the text content? We're going to go ahead and uh, give give that some width. So make a new uh, property for banner. Give it a width of 740 pixels so it aligns to the text. Height of 180 pixels and that's basically going to be how big our uh, image later is going to be. And uh, let's give it a background color of black for now just to show you what's going on. It looks uh, as such, the black uh, the banner is currently behind the the top menu, and we're going to fix that by adding some styling to the nav bar div, which is the very top one here, nav bar div. Let's go back to menu.css and add that in the very top. Let's add in here nav bar. Width is going to be 100%, and this is also where we're going to uh, make the top nav span across the whole width. So if we go back here, nothing changed yet, but we're going to add a height of 40 pixels, and then a background color of the blue we're currently using. So copy and paste that blue right there. And if we go back, there you go. It now expands the whole um, whole top area, and we have to give it a border of bottom of uh, two pixels. See if you see here right now, there's no border. If we go back, border two pixels uh, solid zero zero zero, and we only want to give a border to the top and bottom. So we're going to go ahead and create another style border width and say 2 pixels, 0, 2 pixels, and 0. So if we go back here, there you go, we have a border at the top and we have a border at the bottom. And now we have to position this banner div to be centered and um, have a little space from the top and have a little space from the bottom. And to do that, let's go back to page.css. And in the banner div, we're going to um, give it a margin of 20 pixels top, auto right, 0 bottom, auto left, which is going to center it, and give some space from the top. And we're also, let's change this to F60. F60, there you go, changed color. And we're going to give this a border of 2 pixels solid black. And if we go back here, there you go, there's a little bit of um, added border there. And we're going to go back to the text content uh, property. And we're going to add a margin top of 20 pixels. So that should fix things. And there you go. Now we just have to add in the actual picture. So I downloaded a picture from morguefiles.com. I'll provide you guys with the link. And it's a place where it gives uh, free uh, images, morgue file meaning like dead, produc dead production or after production uh, files that, that are no longer being used by photographers. So these files are free to use. I go ahead and photoshopped it so we have the right size. I'm just going to copy and paste this to our new folder. So if we go back to the folder that we're working here, working with, we're going. I'm going to create a new file called images, and I'm going to uh, paste the photo here. So it's called snowforest.jpg, and the dimensions. If you can read a little bit, no, actually you can't increase that. It's 740 pixels wide by 8, 180 pixels high, so it's perfect for our size. And if we go back to the banner div, we're, instead of saying background color. We're going to add a uh, background image. So background is going to be transparent, and then the address of the image is going to be uh, period period slash, which has to be done because 
the current file is in the CSS folder and the file we're going to look for is in the images folder. So we have to go up a file, up a folder before we go down a folder again. So period period uh, slash means go up a file and then from once we're there let's go to the folder images and then snowforest.jpg. If we go back, there you go, we have it. And um, that is basically all of our uh, tutorial. Actually, I'm going to show you how to do one more thing. Now we have the, the, the unordered list here. If, for example, you want to add another unordered, uh, another sub menu for, let's say, iPhones, all you have to do is go back to your index page and let's scroll down and um, copy all of this. All of the under uh, all of the sub menu for a sub nav and sub nav sub nav two, copy it. And under iPhones, right after the A tag, we're going to paste everything. So here, let's paste. Paste it. And then I'm just going to uh, move this one line down. And then increase that by one line. Whoops, I think I did one more too many things. Just increase, just make this line proper. There you go, that's what I wanted to do. And if we go back to the new page, refresh it, there you go, we have another submenu right there. So that's how you create a uh, pure navigation. And sorry, one more thing. I just noticed that we have a four pixel border at the left here, iPod. So what you want to do is go back to your index and go back to the very first item here. So this one, instead of saying top nav a last, we're going to say top nav a first. And let's go to the menu.css page. Let's say, let's add it here. Top nav a first, border left is equal to none. And if we go back, refresh it, there you go. Everything's, uh, finally the way it should be. So that's how you create a pure CSS menu that's um, cross browser and um, before we finish this tutorial off I'm just going to demonstrate to you that it does work properly in the other browsers as well. So let's take a look at them. So let's go to Mozilla Firefox and I'm going to go to the same URL we just created right now and uh, if I open this up everything looks the same and in all the other browsers in Chrome, in Safari and Opera it does look fantastic just the way you want it. The only problem comes when we come to uh, Internet Explorer browsers which are the main uh, web developers pain in the butt. So I have uh, an IE tester uh, software that's open source. You can go ahead and download it. I'll provide a link. And let's go to Internet Explorer 8 and let's type in the browser URL and everything works fine so that's good for us. Once again if you take out the doc type in the very beginning I showed you, you this doc type was in, uh, paramount to making a good CSS uh, menu. Let's take that out and then let's refresh this. So first of all, the, the whole menu doesn't display properly.